Hello, it's James from xrobots.co.uk and today I'm going to be showing you about making some pieces for Android 11. Um, if you missed a previous video, here's a link and you can see the construction details on my website. Basically, this is a half human sized bipedal walking android with two legs, hence bipedal. Um, basically, um, as you can see, the body is made of a cardboard tube at the moment, which gives it some height so that it works properly. And I'm going to be replacing that with a proper body made in the same style as the legs, which um, all the pieces were made by hand with hand tools like a knife, this thing. Most of the pieces are cut out of styrene, which is just plastic sheets, two mil thick. Some of it's aluminium. Some of it's HDPE, which is what plastic chopping boards are made of, and obviously some nuts and bolts. So um, I've drawn some crap diagrams on here. And now I've actually got around to making some of the pieces. So um, I've cut out these pieces out of styrene sheet, which will be parallel to each other, and they'll be they'll make the body which will hinge eventually backwards and forwards. And again, it's going to use these gyros and a servo to keep it upright, so the idea is it should react quite quickly to help balance backwards and forwards, because at the moment the android's a bit wobbly on his feet, um, which doesn't help him walk along. So I've also got this piece of HDPE, which I'm going to... which will be sat on that way, with these pieces sort of that way. And on the HDPE, I'm going to be mounting the electronics, which are currently this crazy piece of breadboard on top. At the moment it's powered by four double A's. Let's just lift the camera up. As you can see on top there. So I'm going to be replacing that with a new power solution, which is going to be one of these batteries, which is a 12 volt battery, um, and this. So the servos run on five volts, five to six volts. At the moment they're running on 4.8 volts because those are 1.2 volt rechargeable cells. I tried using um, basically before that battery in a 3 amp regulator, but it tripped out over current. So when all the servos run, they pull slightly more than that. So I've got this huge thing, which is 12 to 24 volts input and 5 volts 10 amp output. So along with the battery and this, those things are going to sit on his back and the electronics. So the idea being uh, basically that that helps it balance. So I've got here, it's RoboSapien, which is a popular toy from some years ago, a popular Christmas toy about three or four years ago, maybe five years, I can't remember. It's got batteries in its feet to keep the center of gravity low so that it can um, stay upright. But having heavy feet on robots is a, pretty much a myth. Obviously this is um, actively balancing itself. So actually what we want is heavy weight at the top. So to demonstrate this, if I take this ruler and I just try and balance it, it's actually quite hard to do, oh, because it moves quite quickly. So as if I attach a heavy weight to the top, just take this elastic band, put this on here, then actually it's much easier to balance. He says, it's actually much easier to balance. Um, and that's because the heavy weight means that it moves more slowly because um, heavier, heavier mass needs more energy to move. So there we go, that's what I was intending to demonstrate. So basically with um, more weight at the top that helps it to actively balance and means that it should have less trouble staying upright so it won't move around quite so quickly. So that's the idea anyway. So um, all these parts as I said are made with hand tools. I don't have a 3D printer or a CNC machine. So the next thing is to go outside and cut this HDP, HDPE sheet with a saw. So next I'm going into the shed. Here we are, so let's just have a look in the shed. What have we got? Stuff, Iron Man moulds and pieces, pieces of Iron Man. Made of fiberglass, woo. And stuff, and the side of my hot tub, and a massive mooring rope, which I'll just get out of here so it doesn't get covered in bits. Right, here's my HDPE, so I'm just going to put the camera down somewhere. Find a saw 
somewhere. down we just find a saw somewhere and we will cut that piece ah, the fine tooth tenon saw right right there it is so that piece cut and then what's going to happen is these pieces are going to go on that way next to each other first we just need to clean that up a bit get the rough edges off, off the side there that's not too bad right and drill some holes in it and do some other things and make a few other pieces for the hinge mechanism.